Good morning. Welcome to Gabby's cooking show. No, um, so I'm actually just doing breakfast prep for um for my lunch group. So there's three people in my lunch group, and so we just um we just schedule our meals for the week, do groceries for them on Fridays, and then we kind of rotate whoever's cooking. Sometimes we bring food, or our parents bring food to us. Um, and then so we eat that. So we don't always have to cook every day, um, but I am cooking tofu today. If I can find my measuring cups. Okay, hold on. I'll be back. Ta-da! I'm back. Okay, so yesterday was a pretty good day. It was, it was really intense. Um, we came in for breakfast, and then. Um, I'm walking in, Marco comes in, and it's like, okay, so Marco's going to be teaching us today. And then, later on during breakfast, um, this other guy walks in. Um, his name is Mike Wong. Um, and he was, he's another teacher from Soul Swiss, so he came in and he was going to train us as well. And then later on, towards the end of breakfast, a third person comes in and we're like, okay, this is a really good, this is really going to be an intense day. We have three teachers coming in to teach us. Um, but it was really good. Um, and it's really cool to see the different teachers and different styles as well as um, different styles of teaching as well as different styles of approaching the door. Um, something that Mike or Michael told us was enjoy, enjoy the, enjoy being at the door. So, so like he says, he plays a game when he's um, going door to door and it's like, what's going on behind this door? And then so he just, um, he looks at the door, you know, okay, there are kids stuff outside, there are whatever indicators there are. And then when he knocks up to the door, you know, he has the lineup of what books he's going to show and then tries to figure out, oh, okay, this guy didn't get a book. How come? Um, was it... Um, you know, was it the wrong book or whatever? Um, and so he just analyzes each door and says, okay, these are the things that happened. Um, and these are the things I should improve on. Did I marshmallow? Did I, you know, did I give up too quickly? Stuff like that. Okay. I am just prepping the stuff for the rice. And then so what I'm going to do, I actually have some leftover rice from... Um, from earlier this week, but it's too little for three people. So I'm just going to cook the rest of my rice and then I'm going to fry it afterwards so I can use up my onion and garlic. Um, okay, I will be back in a moment. So I just put the rice on the stove and now I'm um, adding water to my TPP to rehydrate it. Okay, so back to yesterday. Oh, just so you know what I'm cooking. Here you go. This is what I'm cooking. Tofu, add this sauce, and then I'm adding the TVP in there just for extra stuff. Um, and then for fried rice, I have my onions and my garlic. And so I'm just going to prep all of those things right now. Okay, so yesterday, oh, and Calvin was also there. So we had four different leaders that we don't usually have um, training us. Um, and so it was actually... Mike Long that did um, the first the first few segments. Um, he went over um, like they they introduce the way they teach is really amazing because because uh, first they want you to get the real basic stuff down. Once you have that basic stuff, there are things that are also basic, but they don't teach it to you until later on because it will just be too many things for you to keep track of, and so like. For example, team, team time. Team time is pretty much you get, um, you move quickly. So try to get out of the cars fast. Um, and then like you have to get out of the car in X number of seconds. And so what you do is, um, and they, like, they said like, okay, just move fast. Um, and then they trained us on the basic five. It's week, it, when it was week two, we had pretty much had the basic five down. Um, they added to it, okay, on top of smiling, like, when you go to the door, you just raise up a little bit on your toes. Um, like, hi, my name is Gabriella. We're students working on a scholarship. And just that that action, so like if we have our books, we have our bag, you know, hi. Um, and so like just even the pitch of your voice 
as well combined with going up on your toes even though it kind of looks silly it actually gives off the vibe that you're confident so hi my name is Gabriella we're students working on a scholarship so like even really basic stuff like that like and then so you can add on it so going back to team time um so like when you're sitting um, instead of having your bag just on the floor, you have the strap of your bag either already in your hand or on your knee. So when they say, okay, Gabri on the light, right, um, work forward to your T, crossover, work back, I don't have to go and reach down and grab my bag. I just grab the straps from my knee, put it swinging on my shoulder, and get out of the car. Um, and so like things like that that are super basic but make things a lot quicker, um, and then so, so yesterday we were, you know, we went over, a, a, um, working with quick people again. So that's something that we've already gone over in detail, but then they'll bring back these topics and review them. So even though it's already week three, we went over the basic five earlier in the week. Um, so you're constantly reviewing, even though they add new stuff. It's so that you wouldn't forget the old things that you learned and, you know, the really basic stuff that makes a good canvasser. Um, and so that was what we were doing for training um, towards... Oh, and then we also went um, over connecting. So we learned this acronym called CLAP, which is question, answer, connect. Um, so, oh, uh, like, for example, my um, I was talking to my Klong, and then... I, so I was practicing with him, so he's like, okay, like, take three three minutes to just get to know the person beside you and know something that they have they don't know and it's like oh, okay um, Marco said you had a really cool testimony and then um, so he told me a little bit about his testimony he has a daughter and then she, he mentioned she was 17 I was like oh okay heading off to college and it's like oh no she has one year in high school left so I was like okay what does she want to do and then he mentioned that she was actually homeschooled I was like no way um, my siblings and I were actually homeschooled even all the way to the Philippines and then so things like that where you ask a question you're listening to the answer and then finding something that you could connect with if you like um, and then we share each other's stories so now um, since if nobody else in my program were homeschooled and they got to a door where um, the person was homeschooling or their child was homeschooled at one point they could say Oh, no way. I actually have a pro a friend in the same program that I'm doing and she was homeschooled. So even if it's not your personal story, it's like, oh, no way. My friend has something of, of the same thing. Um, and so, you know, it's really cool. Um, and it's teaching you so much, not just, you know, I mean, they teach it to you as it relates to canvassing. But I mean, you can do this anywhere and with everyone to just, you know, make quick friends, make a connection with a stranger, even like in an interview. Um, how do you connect with your interviewer? And then so they were saying, like, do you guys know that corporations pay about $100 an hour for the kind of training that you're getting? And we're pretty much just getting it for free because um, the fee I paid earlier in the program covers the transportation, the breakfast, as well as, um, as well as the, the training. Hold on, let me just check on my rice. Okay, in 20 minutes, my rice will be good to go. Um, and so they were saying that, you know, corporations and um, professional people train, uh, pay about $100 for the kind of training that we're getting. And we're pretty much getting it for free. Um, and so I really do think that Youth Rush has been one of the best decisions I've made. Um, even though there are times when it's really discouraging to, and it's really intimidating to go door to door um, and talk to all these different people, all these strangers. Um, and when you go to businesses, even more, it's like, okay, there are so many people in one place. Who do I talk to and how do I talk to all of them? Um, and then so like when you're going door to door, you're actually at one particular door and then, okay, you get accepted, you get rejected, whatever. And then you just re restart, it's a new door. Um, but when you're in a business, each person is a door. And sometimes you're talking to someone and they can still kind of overhear 
what you said to the other one and then so they're already making up all these um, objections and they're like oh no no I don't I don't want to see what you have and so now it's a lot you because you do get to talk to a lot more people there's a lot more rejections as well um, and then so towards the end of training um, Marco had a whiteboard and it had different situations and so one is the person wasn't gonna get anything at all or then the person was only gonna get a great controversy or they were only gonna get the kid set or um, just the drop down um, and then um, so Marco would point to a particular one on the board and they would say um, and then so everybody except for the person canvassing him knew what this thing what what he was gonna get at and so um, and to figure out what book he was gonna get you have to ask those questions can I was like oh, okay this person it has kids so they're probably interested in the kids books um, and then so stuff like that where you're just trying to read the person um, to see what their interest is and how you can best meet their needs um, and so we were doing this I was the last person to go up and then so I canvas him I gave him a great controversy and an answers and I want to say I forget what else I gave him um, and I was like okay you did really well but he was gonna get everything um, we had just done dump bag training the day prior um, and so we learned how to do a presentation so what we say is like I make it a point to at least what um, to show all my books to at least one person um, per day where would be more or like where would it be most convenient for me to show you your living room or the kitchen um, and so we don't do this to everybody we do this to a person because they said um, a person's gonna get a book from you for two reasons one they're interested in the book or your issue um, and two they're interested in you so that's why some that's why sometimes you just get donations because people don't really want the books but they're like okay I want to help you out as a student um, and so you're you want to be able to share your testimony because sometimes people might not be when they're not going to get a book but they might give something um, or get something because it's you who's talking to them um, and so that's when your personal story comes into play um, and then so I was let me just clean this up a little bit um, and then so he goes oh I, I, I was, I'm going to be merciful today let me let me um, give you a second chance. So I go back to the door, say that um, I sh I make it a point to show at least show it to one person per day, and then I do my different sets out. And then taking the sets out of your bag does take a little time. So it's important that your bag is organized. Um, you try to organize it by category so that you um, you can just pull out a whole set at a time, and then we um so i was just connect trying to connect learn more about him as i was setting up the um setting up the books so there wasn't a lot of dead air space i then go on to show him the books he gets everything he tells me it's his wife's birthday tomorrow i was like oh it's a perfect gift it's like oh like that deal for me but it's not even my birthday now i was like well if some it's somebody's birthday in the family then pretty much um the whole family celebrates is what I said um, and then so like he got he got the whole bag um, and then so it was it was good practice for me we go out um, we were in Hawthorne so I was meeting a lot more Spanish people uh, I love I love 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 working with Spanish people um, even though my I don't know that I don't know Spanish at all because I didn't I didn't take it I took sign language instead of Spanish. Um, it was it was it was still it was still really good. Um, and then I don't know people people seem a lot nicer um, in Spanish territory. And then so I I did a few houses when I got picked up. Uh, CJ dropped me off at businesses. Um, and then so I was working with um, with oh so there were several car mechanic shops um, and then so when it's a car mechanic shop you just go in there talk to the workers and it's really cool because because they give you their time um, and then 
so I was doing, and then I think I was at this car shop with, with five people. Um, I just went from, you know, car to car, um, talking to the workers. And then they were, they were all Spanish. And then so I had gotten rejected by, actually maybe there were six workers. I had gotten rejected by the first three. I walked past one because he was in the car and the door was closed. So I didn't talk to him and then moved back all the way to the end. Talked to the fifth guy. Um, he says, oh, no money, no money. And then we say, lo que sea, so what, whatever, whatever you feel like giving for, for the drop down. Um, and then, and then I was like, he was like, really? Whatever I feel like? I was like, yeah, like two, five, however much. Um, and then he goes, oh, okay. And then, so he, he gives me a few dollars. Um, and then he's like, oh, bien para estrés. And then, um, told him, you know, it's about Christ, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like so happy and then kind of sharing a little bit of his testimony with me. I couldn't really understand it. Um, but it's really cool when I see people who are excited about the books. Um, next thing. Oh, and then so I go back to that one guy I initially missed because he was in the car. He was outside of the car already. Um, so I canvas him. I show him peace in the cocina. Um, and then he, he ends up getting the... Um, oh, I also showed him Prince of Peace. Um, or Principe de Paz, um, and then so I, I, I um, do the canvas for those, um, and then he does get the casina. And then also, just it was just a good reminder for me to canvas anyone and everyone, was I was walking down the street, I saw these two guys, um, and then so I, I, I was like, okay, hello, my name is Gabriela, I'm a student in the school, I'm working for a beca, oh, oh um, and then so, I canvass them, and then one guy gets the cocina, um, and then so it's like, just just try, just you know, talk to people because you never know who's going to get a book from you, um, and then so I was with Marco later that day, or I guess yeah yeah I was with Marco, and then he oh my goodness this these audios are gonna make me cry, um, I was with Marco. Um, and then he helps me with some of the Spanish doors because I mean he speaks Spanish so he can have a more thorough conversation so I'm barely I'm actually like barely connecting in Spanish because I have such a limited vocabulary um, and then so I just like show them the books um, try to do my canvas on them and then close Marco can actually connect with the people and then give you a moment hello this is ron in the back hello <laughs> um and so he's he's my adding um and then so okay so going back to the story um i was with marco and then marco says um i want to see you do a spanish door um just so like i can give you tips on on how to how to do those doors so i do a door and he's like okay good you know just um so what he says he does, he like shows the book and then actually reads, or what people who don't speak Spanish do, actually read from the book, like actually read the description. So you can point to it and actually show um, what it says as well as, so you don't have to memorize it. Um, and just so you know. Um, and then so I do a Spanish door and then he gives me tips after that, leaves me on my own. And then so later, so I do the businesses, which were a really good experience with the car shops. And then later in the day, um, I went to this uh, lady's house. Or she, it was an apartment. Um, initially, I thought no one was home because no one was coming out the, to the door. And then I just knocked a few more times. And then there was a lady there. Um, and then so I said, um, and she was, she was a Christian. She was really interested in me and enthusiastic. And then so I go, hello. Um, you know, I make it a point to, I do the, the dump bag closer or intro, I guess. Um, I make it a point to show my books at least once. And then I had a feeling that she, you know, I wasn't going to get a dump bag with her, but I, it was so good with the practice because she was giving me the time. Um, and then, so I show my books and then, so I actually had a practice run in the field. She did, she did end up getting the health set though, though. Um, and then, so I, hold on, I'm going to put my tofu on, so I'm going to pause this real 
Okay, so resuming the story, um, she got a health set. I was able to pray with her, um, and then so it was it was good practice for me. Um, I was able to pray with a lot more people yesterday, um, which is really good. And um, most of them, like at least, took a glow. Cause some people, um, like I actually got shouted at by a guy. He was like, oh, you know, no solicitation. And I'm like, oh no, we're just Christian students, whatever. It's like there's so much trickery going on. And I was like, okay, let me just leave you with this free gift. I'm um, he's like, no, don't leave that. Blah blah. Um, get off the property. I was like, okay. Um, and then I actually also got an apple um, from this guy. He was picking an apple out from, he had like this like little, little trees um, in his front yard and he was, he was picking apples. And then so he gave me one and it was really cool. Like it, it tastes pretty good too. Um, and then he didn't get anything. I was able to pray with him. And then for, I was also able to get some Spanish drop downs out. Um, and then, good morning, Hayao! And then she, let's see. Uh, next story is about, um, okay, so there's, I got, went to this one door, and then he's like, oh, I can't, I'm really broke. Um, and then so I go down to the drop down to this one, whatever you feel like giving, helps for school. Um, and then he goes, it's like, no, um, like, I mean, I'm really broke, I can't do anything right now. And then, because he's a photographer, he was working, join me in my video. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, and then, so, he's like, oh, I can't because I was actually working with this guy for months. Um, and then I sent him his work, he gave me the check, and it was a fraudulent check. Um, and so he didn't get paid for a major job. And so he was really hurting financially and he asked me to pray for him and keep him in prayer. And so um, I was able to do that. And then after that, um, we're, we're almost, it's like 10 minutes left on the clock. We go to this house. Um, we, we were hopscotching. So when you, I think I already explained hopscotching. You like, someone's here, you just go to the next house and then they go to the house after and so on and so um Alyssa was hopscotching with me she goes to the front yard front of the house and then this guy pulls in and there were houses in the back too so I didn't know if he was in the front house or in the back house and then um I so I asked him oh are you are you over here or in the back and then he was like oh yeah I'm here in the front I was like okay um and then so I was initially I wasn't gonna canvas him because Alyssa was already at the door um, but I was like, might as well just canvas him anyway. And so I tell him, you know, we're students working on a scholarship. His son comes out, I was like, I'll let you take a look. And so I hand him the story time, um, tell him a little bit about it. And I was like, okay, what kind of stuff do you like reading? Um, and he was like, oh, do you have, um, you know, or, and he goes, what else do you have? Because my daughters are really big readers. Um, so I showed him real stories and hero, real heroes and um, Prince of Peace, tell him the real heroes covers the Old Testament. Um, while Prince of Peace covers the story of Jesus in the New Testament. Um, but then he was like, oh, they actually go to um, a Catholic school already. And, but he said he was Christian. Um, and then um, I say, okay, my rice is almost gone. Um, and then I say, oh, really cool. Um, um, and then, so he wasn't, he wasn't that interested in the other children's story. And I was like, if, uh, are they heavy readers? And he says, yeah, they really like reading. And then I hand him the GC and I was like, this is, this is um, heavier material, but I actually have a friend and I was actually talking about you, Hayao, who's read it three times. And, and then I was like, oh, how old is she? I was like, she's in high school, but I also have a friend who started reading it when he was 12 years old. Um, and then so he got a GC. Um, and then I saw that he had Polynesian tattoos, and so I asked him if he were Polynesian and from which island, and then he was said he was Tonga, and I was like, no way, the church we're staying at actually has a really big Tonga community. He's like, okay, which church? Um, I told him it was Hawthorne Seventh-day Adventist Church, and then he's like, oh, no way, I actually have relatives who go there, and the aunt that um, helped raise me is from there. Um, and so he gave me a $40 donation, so I, so, and he got the SD and the GC initially. And then he um, he was like, oh yeah, I need help with health, blah, blah, blah. And so I gave him a habits as well. And so 
close the night with that three book set um, and so it was overall a really great day I'm able to talk to a lot more people as well as pray with them um, fewer rejections um, and yeah so that's it for my day food is almost ready I'll let you take a look here you go it's TVP and I there's a whole lot of TVP so I can't don't think you can really see the tofu but yeah bye, bye.